Hey guys, MG here, MG Covers, bringing you a brand new handicapping video. College basketball season is here, and we're going to talk about using our power rankings to handicap college basketball. And first, uh, right out the gate, um, you can now have access to our <clears throat> power rankings for college basketball for absolutely free. Today's December the 11th, 2019. We're going to run this for one week, so... You go to our website, mgcovers.com. You click over here to Power Rankings. Scroll down to you see NCAAB Power Rankings. Click that, and you'll get our Power Rankings absolutely free. So nothing to sign up for, uh, and you get all of our lines for today's games. So we're going to come back to that, but what I want to do now is I'm going to walk you through some steps, of just some basic uh, fundamental uh, steps you need to take when handicapping college basketball. So... If you slide over here to the left, this is from NCAA. And what I've done is it says scoring offense. You could you could do this yourself. You just go to NCAA.org. These are the top teams in scoring in the NCAA year to date. Uh, you see Central Michigan here is uh, 7-3. and three. They're averaging 90 points a game. Uh, Gonzaga's averaging 86 points a game. And if you notice these teams, I say they're scoring between 85 and 90 points a game, which is a lot for college basketball. Look at their records, 7-3, 7-1, 10-1, 7-2, 8-0, 6-3, 9-1. Oh, so we can assume that a team that scores a lot of points uh, is more likely to – has a better chance of winning the game. So what you can do is one strategy, and I'll, I'll use this a lot, is just focus on these teams here that score a lot of points, okay? Because more than likely they they have a good chance of outscoring their opponent. And on the flip side of that, See what it says, scoring defense. Just click on scoring defense. Now watch this. We're going to look at teams that don't allow many points during a game. Uh, and obviously, Virginia, no surprise there with their pack line defense. Uh, they have won, they are 8-1, and one, and they're uh, holding their opponents to 44 points per game. So if you scroll down the records here, uh, Liberty, 11-0. Sacramento, 6-1. and one. You see Riverside, 7-3. and three. Ohio State, 9-0. and oh. Uh, Purdue six and three, UNC Greensboro eight and two, Butler nine and one, nine and zero, uh, Arkansas eight and one, Duquesne eight and zero. So, teams that don't allow a lot of points also have a great chance of winning. So when you focus, there's so many games in NCAA basketball. So if you just focus on quote good teams, either good scoring teams or good defensive teams, and just wager on those teams when there's you know value and you have. Uh, some of the other steps that I'm going to include, you have situational angles in your favor, then, hey, that would be a good play. So let's now look at our lines and compare them to the lines for today and just give you some overall tips on how to handicap. Now, I will say this about our basketball lines. Because teams play out of conference, they play a lot of weaker teams early in the season, the, the lines uh, will not be as accurate as, say, what you see in our NBA basketball power rankings, which, are, which have been very good, by the way, and also NFL. And the reason is because in the NFL, all the teams play each other. So when you're looking at stats, they're comparable stats because they're playing each other. Same deal in NBA. Whereas NCAA basketball, some teams might play a Division II school or just a really, really, really weak schedule where some teams might play a very strong schedule early on. They might be, say, 6-4, and four, but they've played a lot of quality opponents. So we have to consider all of that. And that's why you'll look at these lines over here. Uh, sometimes it won't be um, – you can't just look at a line. You can't go um, – let's just give you an example here. Um, yeah, you can't go here. Cornell is minus 12. Okay, the sports book line here is plus nine, so we're going to play Cornell. We don't do that, okay? Um, because there's a lot you have to factor in. Now, we might look at that game because we do have a wide um, point variance, point differential, but that's not the only thing that we look at, okay? So one thing I want to do is I want to show you um, – I tell you what, let's take a look at that game. Just it, it'd probably be a good example. Um, a couple things I look at out the gate is I look at their their record. So Cornell, they're not a good team. They've only won one record wise, one in seven. However, they're four and four against the spread. They're playing Colgate. Uh, Colgate's a home team. They're six and four. They're two and seven against the spread. Now, when you see a, a team with a winning record and they have a poor ATS against the spread, that means they're overvalued. 
and you'll see that a lot. Whereas Cornell, they're one in seven, but four and four against the spread, they're undervalued. Okay, and I'll click on matchup, and I'll scroll down here. And the first thing you can look at is home and away. Um, if you're going to bet an away team, you better damn sure make sure they can win on the road. And I got to tell you, immediately would not even consider this game because they have zero wins away, and Colgate is 4-0 and at home. And just so you know, teams at home win 70% of the time in college basketball. And repeat that. Teams at home win 70% of the time. Now, against the spread, there is no advantage to being at home. It's going to be somewhere around 50-50, which means the away team covers about 50% of the time. But when you're talking about just flat winning outright, yes, the home team does have, does have an advantage. If you can find a good team at home with favorable numbers, then that probably would be a good play. Okay, um, so immediately we, we wouldn't uh, even consider this game for this reason. And then another thing we're going to look at, I'm going to – show you a little bit more detailed you can see where colgate's lost their last five so they're not in good form i mean i'm sorry uh cornell the team that they're uh playing is not in good form did i say that right wait a minute let's back up here cornell okay cornell cornell is the poor team yeah they have lost i look at the last five games of form so they've lost their last five whereas uh colgate has won for their last five so it'd be very difficult even getting points to consider playing uh, Cornell in this situation. Even though the line says this, but again, we can't trust the line as much as we would, say, in other sports, which I've already covered. Now, I'm going to show you a situation where this is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, and I'm going to look at this. Let's look at this Yale UMass, and I'm going to give you the five things I'll look at. Number one, we look at form. How's that team performing in the last five games? A good form would be a team that's won, say, three out of the last five, a team that's in bad form, say, a team that's only won one of their last five. If you're wagering an away team, can they win on the road? And thirdly, I'm going to look at their uh, strength of schedule. I'm going to look at some of the teams they've beat, some of the teams they've lost to um, against the spread. If a team is favored by four, like in this game here, Yale's favored by four, can they have they beaten opponents by four recently? You know, if they've, they've played a bunch of really tight games, uh, might not cons might not consider them. Um, and then finally, we'll look at the line. So we look at this Yale game. We'll start right here. Yale is minus four and a half. They're on the road playing UMass. UMass is plus four and a half. Now we look at Yale's record. They're seven and three, and they are eight and one against the spread. That's very good, which means, you know, they're undervalued and they're covering. Whereas UMass is five and five, overall five and five against the spread. Now, if you look at the line where it says minus four and a half Yale, let's look over here and we'll find the line. We have it, same exact line. Now, normally when we're handicapping NBA or, say, NFL football, we, we would look and say, hey, there's no value because the Yale line is minus four and a half and then our line is minus four and a half. However, in college basketball, again, we, we, we look at these our lines a little bit differently. And the way I assess this, I go, okay, that confirms that, in fact, Yale is a true four-and-a-half-point favorite, which means uh, the sports book says it's four-and-a-half, and then we have four-and-a-half. So we're pretty convinced and pretty sure that Yale probably will win this football, <laughs> football game, win this basketball game. So we get a matchup, and let's look at form. Uh, before we do that, there's the way rec record of Yale. They are five-and-three away, so that shows they can win on the road. Uh, UMass is four and two at home. Let's look at form. And this is Yale. Yale's in great form. One, two, three, four, five. They've won their last five games. You can see here um, Penn State. They lost to Penn State. Almost beat Penn State. Um, played Oklahoma State well. So Yale has played some excellent competition. Um, they're in good form. Uh, let's look at UMass. UMass has lost their last five games. Uh, lost to my Gamecocks there, 80 84. Um, did win some games here. Let's see. They beat uh, Ryder. Um, Ryder's 5-2, and two, so that was a good win for them. Uh, let's see. They beat this team here. It's probably a – yeah, looks like a Division NAI school or a Division II type team. Um, and let's see here. Massachusetts. Uh, let's see here. 
Fairfield Stags here. So they beat them and not a good team. So when you look at um, opponents, you would definitely say uh, Yale has played better opponents. And then, of course, the line we already talked about. So overall, when you look at this game, this would probably more than likely be a play um, Yale because we have so many. The line is very similar to our line. Um, they're in good form. They can win on the road. They play better opponents, and they've beaten some quality opponents. So this would favor uh, Yale here in playing Yale. And that's generally how I handicap college basketball. I'm going to make another video for coaching clients. That's going to go in a lot more depth than how to do this. But I did want to get this video out to you guys just so that the general public knows that you can get access to these power rankings here for free for seven days. Again, you just click on the link. Um, and if you want to subscribe to be a member, it's very simple. You just click join here, subscribe to coaching. And this will take you here, $29.95 a month. That gives you access to not only NCAA basketball power rankings, but power rankings for NBA. You'll see the lines for NBA. Um, you get access to all of our NFL lines, all of our soccer lines, all of our, what am I missing? Um, NHL lines. So you get access to all of those lines as well as uh, coaching videos. So we have a whole uh, vault of coaching videos where you can go in and learn how to handicap. We talk about how to handicap situationally for NFL, uh, NBA, etc. So along with the lines, you also have all the tools you need to handicap your own, on your own. So it basically increases your learning curve if you don't know anything about sports betting. A lot of good information in our coaching program. And then finally, if you'd like to subscribe to Picks, you can click on this link here, Daily Picks. You can get those for $49.95 a month. Or you can purchase our six-month membership, which is everything on the site, power rankings, uh, picks for all sports, as well as coaching for six months, for $199 for six months. It's basically a $100 savings. Um, and don't forget, let's pull up the... Uh, I'm not going to pull it up. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube here. This is a link to our YouTube channel. It is MG Covers. Make sure you subscribe to that. And if you've got any questions at all, send me a DM on Instagram or an email, mg at mgcovers.com. Hope everybody has an awesome day and good luck uh, handicapping college basketball this year.